In this lesson, we'll briefly delve into a critical topic that can significantly impact your PPC success. Conversion rate optimization, or CRO as it's more commonly known. I think it's absolutely crucial to have a basic understanding at the very least about how this process works. Why? Because it's all well and good actually getting people to your website, but if you're not understanding how they behave or why they aren't converting, you're going to make a huge dent in your budgets with little to no return while your competitors eat into your market share, which is not what businesses want. Also, CRO is a great way to demonstrate to the boardroom that you're paying attention to your customers rather than obsessing over numbers in analytics or a spreadsheet every day at work. Too often, in my experience, I've seen PPC practitioners spend time in the boardroom talking about account structure, SQRs, or worse, how well CTR performed week over week. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to show the boardroom how you're making PPC decisions based on actual customer data. Ready? Let's dive in. So, conversion optimization, or CRO, is the process of maximizing the percentage of visitors to your website who take what you deem as a required conversion action, such as making a purchase, filling out a form, or signing up for a newsletter, for example. You're making decisions based on what your users are actually doing on your website, aiming to give them more of it. It's a customer-led strategic approach that can significantly impact your marketing success, and one that's rarely talked about when PPC is involved. Before we dive into the specifics of CRO and PPC, let's talk about the impact of conversion optimization on your marketing strategy as a whole. Firstly, and arguably most importantly, CRO can enhance the overall user experience on your website. When visitors find your site easy to navigate, engaging, and tailored to their needs, they're more likely to convert into paying customers and tell others about it too. For example, in the form of reviews. This process is often used alongside A-B testing. More on that later. Think about your own behavior for a moment when shopping online. Let's imagine that you land on a website that's far too busy on the eyes, confusing and slow to load. The chances are you'll leave without taking any action. That's why optimizing your website for a seamless user experience is crucial. Your landing pages should be clear, concise, and visually appealing. They should align with your PPC ads to create a consistent and persuasive journey for the visitor. As a wild example that I use a lot, if you have PPC copy that states, buy these blue gym trainers now, which encourages a click, and the visitor lands on the page only to see red trainers, not only does this cause friction for the buyer, but it will also cost you in terms of clicks and more importantly, sales. Nobody wants that. Here are some of the basic principles in order to achieve success with CRO and PPC. First, you need to focus on creating clear and compelling call to action CTA buttons on your website. Your CTA should use persuasive language, stand out with contrasting colors and be strategically paced throughout the website. Remember, a strong CTA prompts visitors to take action, so make it impossible to resist. For example, getting your 20% off discount here works much better than buy yours now. Secondly, conversion optimization empowers you to make data-driven decisions. By analyzing user behavior, conducting A-B tests, and tracking conversion funnels, you can identify areas for improvement and refine your PPC campaigns for better results. Let's say you start to notice a high exit rate on a particular PPC landing page. This indicates that visitors are leaving without engaging further. By A-B testing different elements such as headlines, images, or CTA placements, you can identify which variation performs better and increase your conversion rate. Ultimately, conversion optimization enables you to personalize your marketing efforts with PPC landing pages, tailoring your content to the right ad copy individual preferences and behaviors can significantly boost engagement and conversions. Now, let's discuss an additional essential conversion optimization strategy that you can implement right away to boost your PPC success, A-B testing. In short, this involves setting up identical versions of facets within your paid campaigns and testing which one outperforms the other. A-B tests, or split testing as they're also known, are seen as vital for sustainable or long-term PPC success, largely because you can demonstrate to the boardroom which variable is driving more conversions and profit. This will help you when it comes to making your case for the inclusion of PPC into your overall marketing strategy. With PPC, you've got a great level of flexibility with which parts of your campaigns that you can test against one another. 
For example, you can test things such as different CTAs, landing pages, elements of creatives, ad copy, or audiences, just to name a few. Whilst it is easy to get lost in the intricacies of this, you should never lose sight of the core concept of this process. One element will remain the same, whilst another will be a variable. If you change too many things at the same time, you cannot confidently assert what is doing well and what isn't. Flexibility can also be seen as a strength and weakness in this sense. Some of the most common mistakes that PPC practitioners make are not defining what success looks like from the beginning. If you don't know why you're doing this or what you are hoping to gain, this will just be expensive for your business in both time and money. A good example of choosing just one is measuring your AOV, average order value. A potential bad example would be to measure quality score alongside it. As I mentioned, having too many variables, you should only measure one variable per test. Anytime you exceed this, you start to cast doubt on what will actually perform well or not. Probably the most important one, not being able to achieve statistical significance. This usually happens when tests are ended too early. Based on the level of traffic you are getting, you need to decide what is going to be a meaningful benchmark for your test. It could be 50, 500 or 5,000 sessions or more. Only you will be able to judge this. Remember that conversion optimization and A-B testing with PPC is an ongoing process. You have to continually monitor your data, test different elements and be open to iterating on your PPC strategies. In my view, the best marketers are the ones who embrace the culture of experimentation to find what works best for your audience. I hope you now understand the importance of conversion optimization and how it can impact not just your PPC activity, but ultimately your entire marketing strategy. In the next lesson, we'll explore how to define clear PPC goals in a marketing strategy so that channels all align together and you're not too PPC silo focused.